So next if you see here X3 game of chance or luck 194G 194B 194BB So there can be three things guys One sale of Lottery tickets This is under 194G Winnings from lottery is different. Here is 194B. Winnings from horse race. 194BB Three different sections 194G is sale of lottery tickets This is what guys Commission Commission on sale of lottery tickets. Commission. So let's see. It says commission, comma, etc. Means by any name, whatever you call. Any person who is responsible for paying on or after first day of 99 to any person who is or has been stocking, distributing, purchasing, selling lottery tickets by way of income of commission, remuneration or prize money on such tickets, amount exceeding 15,000 rupees shall be at the time of credit of such income to the account of the pay. Deduct income tax at 5%. Same, suspense account also if you do, same thing. So guys, if you see, I had gone to Kerala in March 2023, February or March, I think, for this uh, company loss some batch. So night, I, Trisur I had gone. So there, night, I stepped out to check out the nightlife of Trisur. It's a town. What nightlife will be there? Everything was closed. So I was just, anyway, walking. Suddenly, one fellow in Lungi came in the middle. Not kidding. Suddenly, at middle of the night, he is coming right into me and he said, Cheta Lottery. It is unbelievable in Kerala, every third shop is a lottery shop. Because Kerala Lottery, who sponsors? Who sponsors it? Government. It is one of the... It is one of the largest see Kerala lottery lottery result lottery claim an auto driver recently won you know not recently a couple of years ago won some 20 crore lottery organizational structure prize money so lottery results also you can go price structure is actual Kerala government lottery. And like that, many official website is there. This directorate of Karna state lottery, same thing, this only. Government of Kerala.
yeah so you can see agents this only for lottery agents how much what money which section this section 194 g maybe so it is damn slow but anyway this is how it is here so this is the you know lottery results 80 lakhs first prize some guy won consolation 8000 second prize 10 lakhs 80 lakhs guys yeah fourth prize first and people buy like crazy i'm not joking digitally signed it's like crazy then for new year and all they had separate you know famous things and that 20 crore lottery was there is also 80 lakhs 80 lakhs only no, no 80 lakhs ernakulam fellow right so you see auto driver wins lottery was for new year's oh, this guy see 25 crore lottery overnight karodpati winning onam bumper lucky draw contest 25 crore the bank called today regarding the loan and i said i don't need it anymore full hey podar i don't want right yes uh, see now nirmala aunty will be waiting of the 25 crore he won Anup will receive 15.75 crore. Why? That is this one. Innings from lottery. 194B. 30% swaha. Nothing can be done. But still 15.75 crore. Crazy. Went last minute and got a ticket. I am a chef. Love to cook. Starting a restaurant. With 25 crore definitely he can start whatever he wants. Right. So that's how it is. Luck will change. So 194G is that payment to agent. 194B is winnings from lot lottery. So let's see. Yeah, 194G here. Sale of lottery tickets. Any person, pay any person. Resident, non whatever. 5% in case pay is a non-resident or foreign company. Surcharge as applicable. And health and education says will be added. Why? Non-resident, guys, he will not come later. No. He will not pay later. So, everything first only you take. TDS. What will be the... Sorry. What will be the TDS? 5% in case pay is a this commission no that's why commission when I am you know paying to the non-resident case pay is a non-resident or foreign company surcharge etc will be deducted because this fellow is what he is selling the lottery tickets outside India so when I am paying that commission to him what if he doesn't pay the tax later tomorrow so deduct everything and close where the pay is not furnished by 20% Payment of commission, remuneration or price to any person, stocking, distributing, purchasing or selling lottery ticket. No TDS when commission does not exceed 15k in the financial year. 
so how much is it 5% EDS commission greater than 15k per annum Winnings from lottery one ninety four B. See, winnings from lottery or crossword puzzle. person responsible for paying to any person any income by way of winnings from a lottery or crossword puzzle or card game and other game of any sort lottery crossword puzzle card game and other game of any sort means what card game teen patti rummy that's what was there now this was added guys it was only amount exceeding 10000 rupees now amount exceeding 10000 rupees is there card game and other game of any sort now this 2001 they added card game or other game of any sort this is a game but is it gambling no what used to happen was online ga gambling you have online rummy you have online betting many apps are there online betting government was not able to control dream 11 is actually from one form of betting only With dream 11 prize money is 1 lakh 2 lakh 5 lakh etc no tds nothing nirmal aunty do you think she leave no so she added this or from gambling or betting of any form or nature whatsoever that's all any gambling any betting she covered here you see section 194b of the act provides that the person responsible for paying to any person any income by winnings from any lottery crossword puzzle etc at the time of yes similar provision reduction of income tax or horse racing also in any case 194bb is what it is the tds section if you see what does the section say shall deduct income tax thereon at the rates in force rates in force means what as per what act finance act but if you see the charge of that tax is given in another section 115 bb See? tax on winnings from lottery crossword puzzle races and all those things and they added this any sort of gambling or betting or any form whatsoever where the total income of the sc includes any income by of so and so amount of income tax 
other rates etc shall be what rate guys 30 percent nothing content in the section shall apply to income by weighing of online game for assessment year beginning on or after first day of april 2024 Nothing contained in the section shall apply to winnings from online game because for online game 115 BBJ new section. Separately she has given here that's all. Any internet, any online game 30%. So there is tax on winnings from online game separately she has given so this is the these are the rates in force directly given in the rates as per the act only given here 30 percent and if you see again here The tax rate is 30 percent, that's okay. But what is the rates in force? Rates in force will be as per Finance Act. Means what should be the TDS deducted? Tax rate is 30 percent. What should the TDS be deducted? 30 or 10 or 15 or 20 or what? You see here again in Finance Act 23, rates of deduction of income tax under 194B, BB, etc. will be 30 percent. So, charge of tax is in 115 BB, charge of tax. TDS rate is in 194B. Hope you got the thing. So, 194B is the TDS section. But charge of tax is 115 BB. Including online games. And for online games, what is it now? 115 BBJ. So, levy and collection is 194B. This is levy and collection. Levy and collection is this section. Charge is the other section. So, remaining part we will see after the break. Horse race is also there. We will finish it off after the break. Okay. So, <clears throat> if you check this merged, sorry, the work, uh, the workbook. So, yeah, winnings from lottery including online games 194B, charge of tax 115BB. So, as far as the lottery so, in this, it includes everything. So, seeing the memorandum, which says the same thing. Yeah, so 115 BB of the Act provides for rate of tax. So, 194 BB of the Act provides for similar provisions for reduction of tax for horse race in any race course or for arranging or wagering or betting in any race course. 115 BB of the Act provides for the rate of tax on winnings of lotteries, crossword puzzle, ra races including horse race and all those things. It is seen that deductors are deducting tax under section 194B and BB by applying the threshold of 10,000 per transaction and avoiding tax reduction by splitting a winning into multiple transactions each below 10,000. Why? Because if you see, sorry,
in an amount exceeding 10,000. In an amount exceeding 10,000. So you see what have they added? Aggregate of amounts exceeding 10,000. Why? They were splitting. Amount exceeding 10,000. 9,000, 9,000, 9,000, 9,000. I won 9, 9 lakh rupees. 9,000 into 100 transaction I will make. So that no TDS. People were doing all that. Also seen in recent times, there has been a rise in the users in the of online games. There is a need to bring specific provision regarding TDS and taxability of online games due to different nature. Being easily accessible via the internet and computer resources. The variety of options. So, so many changes. 1C, B and BB. Both changes what? Provide that deduction of tax under the section shall be an amount or aggregate of the amount exceeding 10,000 rupees during the financial year. So, this is section 194B and the next section is what? 194BB. Same thing that it here being the amount aggregate 10,000 rupees. This is for what horse race TDS on horse race. Amend 194B to include gambling or betting of any form or nature whatsoever. Right? Amend section 194B to exclude online games. From the purview of the set section from the first day of July 2023, since a new section 194BA is proposed to be introduced for reduction of tax from online game from that date. So, here it includes everything actually. If you see 194B, which section I want apart from that, everything else opens always like that. One second, B, B, J, done. I want 94, B, 94, C, B, ah, finally. Yes. Yeah, you see that nothing in the section shall apply on income tax from winning of any online game clearly given. Why? Because there is new section 194, B, A. Winnings from online games. Because game of any sort will include everything, right? So, this is the new section. Then, insert a new section 194BA in the Act with effect from 1st July 23 to provide for reduction of tax at source on net winnings in the user account at the end of the financial year. Net winnings in the user account at the end of the financial year. So, every transaction not needed, what you will do? Full year. 1st April 23, it is actually from July 23. 1st July 23 to 31st March 24. In the end, you will have your winnings now at the end of the year. On that, TDS will be deducted. Assuming you do not withdraw. But if you withdraw during the year, then the income tax shall be deducted on withdrawal on net winnings comprised in such withdrawal. I have put in 1 lakh money, in that I have lost, gained, so now that money has become, let us say I have spent 50,000 from that, it is a disease actually, one of my friend's brother got married 2 years ago, then he his father set up an own other business for him, all that winnings he used to put in online games, crazy, because it is very addictive. One after the other, after the other, he will start adding. Then he started ignoring his family life also, full day gambling till night. Wife said, get out, divorce. So that divorce proceeding was happening. This guy he used to take money from his dad telling, I want it in business. Dad used to give. So he has looted 8 lakhs like that, imagine. From his dad, it was taken 8 lakhs, all gone. 
put into this online game. It's a big disease. Nirmala aunty says, let the disease continue, pay me tax. Right, simple, 30% you pay. Right, so here, same thing. So, uh, you have to put it inside, put the money inside first. So, let's say like that, this fellow is to put 1, 1 lakh like that directly. So, 1 lakh if you put, you will spend 50,000 in that, 50k. Then you will win 30,000 also. Now, your balance will become 80,000. In that 80,000, you are withdrawing 40,000. That 40,000 includes what? 10,000 your own money, 30,000 winnings. So, that is what they are trying to tell. In case there is a withdrawal, the income tax shall be deducted on net winnings. So, first I put 1 lakh, then 50k I spent, balance remaining is 50k and I won 30k. Overall 80k. Now I withdrew 40k. Income tax department will tell 30k is net winnings, 10k is your own money. This I will not tax. This yes, net winnings. Income tax will also be directed on the remaining amount of net winnings at the end of the year. So remaining 50k, let it be in the end of the year, we will see what is the scene. In the end of the year, you will have 20k your investment. Let's say some 60k, you have one extra. 60k on that, I'll tax. To provide in the proposed section 194b that in case your net winnings are wholly in kind or partly in cash. This section is there here also actually. In 194b, we still haven't done it. Here is there, see, same, same provision will go to 194 BB. So guys, in lottery, I won a car as a lottery. Will, will I have to pay tax? I won a car worth 40 lakhs in the lottery. I won a cash prize of 2 lakhs and a car of 40 lakhs. What is the uh, rate in force? 30%. So I have to pay how much? Let's say 48 lakhs car. 2 lakhs cash prize I won. Total 50 lakhs. What is the rate? 15 lakhs I have to pay TDS. In that 2 lakhs they will take already. Right? So, I have won 50 lakh lottery. 48 lakh worth of car. 2 lakh cash price. How much is 15 per 30 percent? 15 lakh. In that 2 lakh they will recover. They will not pay me this cash only. Recovery direct. 13 lakh. They will take tyre, tyre, bumper, steering, seat cover, what they will do? This is the question, what should I do? It is a valid question, what will I, what will they take? They will have to give me the car. Before giving the car, they will say, sir, kindly pay 13 lakhs. So, nothing comes free. They will tell me, sir, if you want the car, pay 13 lakhs tax and take it. Why, why should I pay? No sir, that's, you have to pay tax. So, you need to pay this 13 lakhs. You see, that is this section. In case where winnings are wholly in kind, car, or partly in cash, partly in kind, 48 lakhs and 2 lakhs. This is there in everywhere, I mean, that's why they have added in that online game section also, same. But, part in cash is not sufficient to meet the liability. 15 lakhs is the liability, 2 lakh is the cash. Person responsible for paying shall, before releasing the winnings, ensure that the tax has been paid. Sir, if you don't pay 13 lakhs, sir, then I am sorry, I will not process the car. I mean, the order of this winning of the car, it will be with me only. So you need to pay 13 lakhs. No choice, you have to pay. You have to pay to the government. Ensure that the tax has been paid. Sir, you don't pay me, no problem. You only pay on your own and give me the receipt so that I can upload the same thing. At least that's what you do. Advanced tax, you pay 13 lakhs. That's what ensure that the tax has been paid in respect of the winnings. You please ensure that you have paid tax on these winnings immediately. Then I will agree, no problem. Either you give it to me, I will pay. Or you only pay and give me the receipt. My job is to ensure that tax has been paid. Have they told tax has been deducted? No the wordings, tax has been paid, you give me the receipt, no problem, I will be happy. So, until you give me a tax paid chalan of 13 lakhs, 
I am not going to release this. I am sorry. See here deduct income tax, here paid income tax. Lot of difference in the wordings. Ensure the tax is deducted. Where I will deduct? That's what tire I will take and go. Where I will deduct? Right? So it should be paid. Don't you think so? Same wordings I should add for online game also. Yes, in online game, I'll win some voucher, I'll win some this, that, and all those things. Yes. Same thing. Ensure that they copy paste of 194B. Then in case in online gaming, if there is some difficulty, what difficulty? You will win online game, but it the payment will be in Bitcoin. What to do then? Gone. Bitcoin is a virtual digital asset, separate section for that. You can win in Bitcoin also, no? Yes. I can win virtual money. I can win points worth 1 crore which I can use to redeem other things. So how will I, so in the, the department came to know, government came to know that all these practical problems will arise. So they only inserted one section saying that in case there is any difficulty, CBDT can insert something called removal of difficulty guideline. Each of these guidelines will be laid before the parliament and then taken permission and then only it will go ahead. Then they gave definition of computer resource, internet, online game, online gaming intermediary and all these things. So 115 BB was the charge of tax. They said online game is no longer there in charge of tax because separate BBJ section is there. In BBJ section, same copy paste of BB only, guys, 30%. Amount of tax would be reduced by the net winnings referred to above. Means what? It's a special income tax. In your entire income, you will reduce the lottery income. On the remaining income, slab rate. On this income, flat rate. This is a special rate of tax. Just like capital gain and all that. That's what amount of income tax with SC would have been chargeable in its total income being reduced by the net winnings. Yes. So, from your total income, reduce the net winnings. On the balance amount, pay regular amounts of tax. So this is a special rate of tax. No basic exemption limit, nothing. Direct 30%. Good amendments. See, all these areas they will ask. So, it's very simple only. In For your studying, there is no change honestly. B and BB, what's the difference guys? Same. Just that B is what? Normal gaming. BB is online gaming. What's the difference between 115 BB and BBJ? Same. Right? So, that's why in the notes you can just add what? No change in provisions at all to be honest. Only when you read it like this, you will understand. Otherwise, people, you know, oh, amendments are there, so many amendments, nothing, it is chiller. Very, not, actually, Finance Act 23, nothing is there, nothing substantial. But people get scared. Contra this thing means amendments. So, here. 194B, then you can say 194BB is for online games, same guys, no change, no need to write anything, that's all. And charge of tax, 115BBJ, your charge is 115BB. Page X6.
which one? One one ninety four B B A. Sorry, correct. You are right. My bad. So here, point number four does not exceed ten thousand single or aggregate. Point number four. Finance Act two thousand twenty three. My book fellow told, sir, you want to change it or you want to make. Me want to add it or you want to make them right? I said no. I want to make them right because you will remember these things now. That's why. That's the actual idea, honestly. There are two versions. One with these small small amendments. Whatever I'm making you right, that only was written. One more was no. I I, I said for regular batch I'll make them right because you'll not forget now. We'll study that and go. This also here, uh, BB. Here, singly or aggregate, single or aggregate. Finance Act twenty three. We are seeing with the logic, so you will never, you will never forget it. Huh? 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 Correct. That is a difference. But I'm saying the rate and all. There's no difference. So you can write down the features of 194 BA here. We'll write down separately somewhere here and there. You'll find out. Finance Act 2023. 194 BA features. What are the features? First thing we have to figure out when it is applicable from. See, inserted from one four twenty three only. But if you see the other one, yeah. But if you see, this is the memorandum, right? Set first July twenty three. But if you see the actual whatever was later, that whatever I am showing is a memorandum as per the uh, speech. But later things change, no? There they said no, no, make it from first April twenty three only. It's easy now. So from First, which amendment? Uh, which uh, this is assessment year or assessment year or previous year? You see, 
generally if it is finance act 23 i make it 1424 right it will be my assessment here so here what will you think of it as that's what so if you see with effect from 1423 so basically from now only there is the financial year so generally with effect from will always be assessment year you are right but some cases like this will be there 1423 This cannot cover financial year 22-23. It's weird. It will be financial year. It cannot be retrospective like that. Otherwise, they will give WREF. So this is financial year 23-24 onwards. So predominantly from that July only, whatever she said. Later they wanted to change it, then they kept it like the same. Anyway, those dates and all you leave, not important. But yeah, from Finance Act 23. online games so we'll do 194 ba versus 194 b comparison and differences and the similarities tell me what is the rate of tax yeah the tds rate 30% 30% charging section 115 bbj here 115 bb rate in the charging section 30% 30%. Is there any 10,000 rupees seen in 194 BA? Read and tell me. Is there any 10,000 rupees seen in 194 BA? No. Right. That is also one change. There is no 10,000. Nothing is there. Only this 194 B earlier. This had. It says nothing contained in the section shall apply to deduction of income tax from any online game on or after first day of April twenty three. Very clear. July also they didn't say. I'll make it. Let's make it twenty three April. So till April whatever you earn, that is aggregate amounts exceeding ten thousand rupees. One ninety four B A. Nothing it says. So if you see one one fifteen B B J also, repeated. Yeah. Online game means a game that is offered on the internet and accessible by user through computer resource. Computer resource will include app, everything using internet. Net winnings from such online games during the year. So there it is. What guys? Amount more than. Ten thousand, right here. Applicability. Single or aggregate more than ten k. Single or aggregate winnings greater than ten k.
here any amount. And this is it credit or payment or payment 194B. 194B is credit or payment or payment? What do you think? At the time of payment thereof. No credit here. Payment. When to deduct? At the time of payment only no credit we had seen in the initial class also tds basics here two things one net winnings at end of financial year one more net winning portion during previous year end of financial year previous year your net winning portion during previous year net winning portion during previous year withdrawals withdrawals So, who should do this? Who should do this? The company. Online Rummy, online those companies should do. Whenever we are drawing, they will deduct tax. That, that's what they have to do. These are the basic differences. But ultimately, it's all the same, 30-30%, percent percentage and all remains the same, little bit of chargeability varies, that's all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, correct. My bad. We'll change it. Good, good. Till here, it was correct only, then full ulta happened. Change it. Correct. Thank you. This is B. This is BA. It will be BJ. Read and tell me if you have any other differences. Read. Check. I will put the bear act. Any other difference? Other similarity, partly in cash, that, that's the same thing, no change. That's about it, guys.
removal of difficulty can be inserted is 194PA and 15BBJ we saw. Sorry. Why? Only in kind. Why? No, no, it is there. Here it is there. No, wholly or partly. So if you see here, point number 4 in page X6, Grossing up principle shall be applied when the prize money is given net of tax or if it is given as non-monetary item. Let us, for example, TV, car and all if it is given means grossing up principle means what? They will gross up the tax and they will give. So, if the thing is worth 1 lakh and then TDS also you need to pay. So, they will gross it up and say this is the final amount you need to pay the tax. That is a grossing up and the prize money is given net of tax. So, basically they will say you will be... Uh, earning this of all taxes put together, then they will do the grossing up thing. If you see, lottery agents also in 194B for example, the state government and union government, Kerala, running lotteries are required to deduct TDS at the rates prescribed by the annual finance act from lucky dip prizes won by lottery agents. So, lottery agents also sometimes they will win the lucky dip prizes. So, for them 194B only will come. That commission they will pay, no? So, that they will charge the rate as per the annual finance act. Finance act rates from lucky dip prizes they will be there. Same thing. Income accruing to a trader in respect of prices, uh, this was one deadly thing. I had one booklet of lottery tickets, I had one booklet of lottery tickets, one second screen is weird here. I had a booklet of lottery tickets, uh, 100 tickets were there, 90, 95 tickets I sold, 5 tickets remained unsold. 10 crore lottery, I only got in that 5 tickets. I didn't buy it, it was pending, it was there. I took it and gave 10 crore, I got the lottery. Now, is it 194B or BB was the question. Sorry, is it 194B or is it commission? Which one? Can't be BB. Is it 194B or is it 194G? Commission. That was the question. You see here. Income accruing to a trader in respect of prices of unsold or unclaimed lottery tickets shall be considered as income from business and not winning from lottery. Hmm, crazy. And it is not even 194G. So G is only commission portion. Here you are not getting any commission. That entire income is a benefit, value of benefit under section 28. Remember, 
if there's any nexus with business value of benefit received will be taxable under pgbp we can take it under that deadly 2002 case law assam lotteries Take money or prize money paid by race club to horse owners would not attract provisions of 194B Bangalore BTC Bangalore Turf Club. We were the auditors of Bangalore Turf Club. You know, I've seen in 2010 and all actual races. That time, Sri Vijay Malya used to be there. He used to come with some three girls here, three girls here. Not joking. And only for that particular thing, they used to have different uh, dresses, suits, and all. Only for that particular race. So in the entire race ring, you know, there used to be one here. The actual race is to happen here. All Chaprasi fellows will be standing. We and all, if you go, you have to stand here only. There we are not allowed inside. There will be TV is there and sitting, standing in the TV. You have to bet. Betting will be allowed. There is, we can bet there. Inside the big shots will arrive. So we were the auditors, so we could go wherever we wanted. So Vijay Malay had installed, uh, you know. Micro brewery there only on tap beer. We were working, so we can't drink, obviously. But I'm, I just saw the entire race once he had come. All the big shots of Bangalore had come. Now the question is, Vijay Malya did both the things. Were very smart. He was one was betting on the horse race. One ninety four BB will come there because B is crossword puzzle. BB is horse race. Plus he also was the owner of horses. Vijay Malya owned horses. Now, is that if the Vijay Malya owned horse, if he wins, will it be 194 BB? Vijay Malya had bought one horse for 5 crore. He bet on that horse also, 5 crore. He won 10 crore award. But this award, Let's say, not out of his own betting. Everybody would have bet on that horse. So that final award that he gets is 10 crore. This is called as stake money. The bet, the people who bet also will win. Vijay Malya also being the owner, he will win. Now when Vijay Malya gets 10 crore as stake money, is it income from business or 194 BB was the question in Bangalore Turf Club case law. Business, same thing. Stake money or prize money paid by race club to horse owner. Crazy. So many cases. I am doing everything so much in depth because I can ask anything. For two marks, we are struggling so hard. That's how it is. Regular batch is 240 hours. We have finished some 70, 75 hours. Still finished only PGBP. Think about it. And done TDS. Imagine how it will be in assessment procedure and all. Assessment procedure is some 50 hours minimum. 5 zero. Right. Some people finish their regular batch only in 100 hours. I don't know. Right. I was seeing generally because as a thing, I have to see all the people, how much, they, how many hours they take. 120 hours and all regular batch in North India. What they teach in that, God only knows. 120 hours, how can you finish tax? Don't know. Anyway. So, 
yes stake money but if you see my fast track premium batch everything is covered there but that is done in a very fast manner here it's like we are making wine their wine is already there directly drink here we are making it we are i'm allowing you time to assess in, in fast track premium batch no time for any thinking quick 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 we'll finish that only took almost 150 hours so this has to be minimum easily one 240 it will be because we are doing sums also whatever is possible every sum you do sir means a special batch will create 600 hour batch of you know direct taxes 600 minimum hours yeah so if it is that's what it is so bangalore turf club yes stake money or prize money so please solve the questions guys every time that during the weekends when you have break two two hours you sit and solve the questions very important and if you have any doubts you can ask me uh, would not attract any provisions bangalore turf club now you see this 194 bb that is winnings from horse race Let's read 194 BB each year. Any person being a bookmaker or a person to whom license has been granted by the government under any law for the time being in force for horse racing. There's a difference between income from maintaining and owning race horse versus winning from horse race. Both are different. Income from maintaining race horses is PGBP. Winning from horse races is book. This is bookmaker. I told you know when initially we went for normal people like us there used to be a ring where one per person used to be there he used to be the main guy who used to bet he's called bookmaker for him there's a license granted for taking bets any race course for arranging wagering betting in any horse race horse responsible for paying to any person any income by winning from any horse race same aggregate exceeding 10,000 at the time of payment thereof deduct income tax at the rates in force. What's the rate in force? Same 115 BB 30%. Wagering agreement. What's the difference between wagering agreement here? Here. Wagering or betting, wager. Wager is unlawful or wager is illegal. You have studied in foundation. Sir, how we pass foundation, God only knows. What do you think? What's the difference between unlawful and illegal? Is wager unlawful or illegal? Sir, right, till today I thought unlawful, illegal, both are the same. Right? So, unlawful, illegal means, illegal means what? It is not allowed by law. Unlawful means, in unlawful, it is a void contract. Illegal is void ab initio. Horse race allowed or not allowed? Allowed. So, it's a unlawful transaction, wager. If I borrow loan from Indudar, I'll borrow loan. For what? Betting. One lakh, I'll borrow. I'll put it in that horse. Gone. Money. Does Indudar have a right to go to the court of law and then sue me? Yes. Court will ask Indudar, did you know why he was using the money? He said, yes, sir. He was using it for horse race. He told me. I gave. That's my risk. But he didn't pay me the loan back. Can you, can he sue me? Yes. Because it's an unlawful contract. This is a collateral agreement. Collateral means, this is the main transaction. Collateral means secondary transaction. Is the secondary transaction of Indudar giving me loan, is it valid? Yes. Definitely yes. On the other hand, assume if I am borrowing money from him for smuggling some goods from outside India, smuggle. Is it unlawful or illegal? Illegal. That time Indudar knows that I am using it for this purpose. Can he go to the uh, court and sue me? No. That's the difference between unlawful and illegal. Wager is unlawful or illegal? Wager is unlawful. But wager is legal also in some case, like for example, horse race wagering is legal. But wager is illegal only in two places. 
Gujarat and Maharashtra. I remember, I think you remember a little bit in foundation. Gujarat and Maharashtra wagering agreements are illegal, which means if Indudar gives me money in Gujarat and I invest it in some lottery there, or if I invest it in some gambling activity in Gujarat, illegal. All call is legal or illegal? All call, legal. But in Gujarat, illegal. So it's a special act. In fact, why it came in Gujarat? All call is allowed everywhere else except Gujarat because of Mahatma Gandhi. He did not like all call. So to give the respect to him, they are maintaining. All call ban, ban in Gujarat will never be lifted. Why? Alcohol ban in Gujarat will never be lifted. Why? Because the persons who are making most money is the police officers. So do you think it's allowed or not allowed in Gujarat? It's allowed. People drink also. They pay a lot of bribe and they drink. Outside from Gujarat, if you come, you can sign on some license and you can get the drinks legally also. Like in five star hotels, they still serve, but they should be signed by a person outside Gujarat. When I had gone to Gujarat, I was in high demand. Why? Sir, please, sir, I want one peg, please, some sign. Actually, went and signed every day. They used to take me. I went to many places. So there, I came to know. Obviously, we had gone on a road trip. Then they called me. So full, you know, every day. We made friends and they used to treat us to dinner in five star hotels. And they used to also drink, offer us also. Who signed? I signed. So every day you can sign. Not every day, once in two days, there's some limit, whatever. But I remember. Yes. So non-Gujarati fellows in Gujarat, high demand. Because you'll get to, that is legally. Illegal also is that. If you pay money to police officers, you'll get. So alcohol ban will never be lifted in Gujarat because of this reason. Police officers, ministers make loads of money by giving this contraband article. Now you cannot say drinking is illegal. In fact, on the contrary, drinking is good for health if you use it in very, very moderation, this much. Not every day. Like in, for example, when you have a cold, brandy is very good. You add it in hot water and drink, it's like medicine. Actually, it is. Right? So, but then of course, unfortunately, people who drink, they succumb to the, you know, the, they become addicts. And if you think about, if you think I'm just making up stories, the one that earned the most income, during COVID, which ran the government, was liquor. You just remember the line, how it was after, you know, this thing, uh, this, what is that called? Uh, lockdown. Crazy line. Yes, definitely. Anyway, so, betting in any race course is what it is. Now the question for you is, you attended, after watching Kantara movie, you wanted to see our Karnataka's Kambla. Have you, have you seen Kamla festival? You would be seeing something, bull race, buffalo race. Let's see. All these useless ads. Huh. They even show video. Huh. This is a Kamla traditional. Yes, you would have watched this. Huh. This fellow will win this race. Kantara movie actually depicted it really well. Yes. Buffalo race in Karnataka. Across the coastal belt. It's there in Kerala. Kerala has other types of race. They have boat race also. Now tell me guys. You won in this match. You won. Will 194 BB apply? Asked in the exam. Dog race is there, chicken race is there, and we are all living in a rat race. They call it rat race, no? Running, running. Is that covered here? No. Why? 194 BB doesn't cover what? Dog race, cat race, chicken race, frog race, whatever race you want. Dog race and all don't write. Dog race, cat race. Yes, chicken rice, race, buffalo race, all those things. So, it will not apply to, 194 BB will not apply to other forms of races. 
even camel race is there in the desert camel race buffalo race dog race frog race chicken race whatever race you want there is a race of tortoises also in many places they will race tortoises tortoise anyway is very slow so that also race crazy so all these winnings will not come under 194 bv now let's say you win that match tax will not be there or what tds is not there i know tax ah uh, normal rate or uh, what rate normal american slab rate or what see all these exam questions they have asked they have asked camel race one in mcq camel race tds will be dash nil tax will be dash normal rates 30% that's why we should know the difference between charging section and levy and collection levy and collection is 194 bb charging section is which one 115 bb let's see that then you'll get your answer lottery crossword puzzle or race including horse race crazy but not being income from activity of owning and maintaining race hall that is pgbp race including horse race dog race cat race buffalo race so kambala if you go and win you have to pay tax under which section 115 bb but when and it's not normal rate it is what rate 30% when do you have to pay but is there any tds no so if i win 1 crore in kamla full 1 crore should come to me they cannot deduct tds if they say tds they are 100% wrong but with that 1 crore what should i do pay advance tax tax is there and no uh, normal rates what rates 30% students make mistakes in two things one they will say say tds is applicable on camel race wrong second they say assuming they say tds is not applicable then they say for uh, ra uh, this camel race and all the income will be taxed under ifos at slab rates wrong right so it is all these things Now my question to you is: This thirty percent is there, no? That is okay. In one ninety four BB also, you have seen thirty percent. Will that thirty percent include surcharge or cess also? Will it include surcharge or cess? So thirty percent includes everything. Yes, thirty percent includes everything. Direct income tax, the rates in force. Rates in force are nothing but given year. Thirty percent. what you see here they have given guys a non resident comes and wins in horse race and is going abroad nirmala aunty will take 30 or 30 plus surcharge plus s full this also they will ask in the exam mr ching chang non resident one one crore in horse race tax will be 30% Then thirty percent plus surcharge. This is under one one five international taxation. There it will come. These are the normal surcharges.
So for foreigner, you have to add surcharge and all that. including horse race so that completes all the other areas so now couple of other things easier ones will do which one that is not lottery that's not horse race no lottery etc here means what that is your betting transaction that is your you know anything related to betting here it's not a horse horse race separate section is there no right so it is if you see here again you have to use ajustum generis in 194b and i use the word etc etc should be linked to lottery so a lottery card game or any other game will come under that if you see here lottery or crossword puzzle Nowhere it is linked to anything race of that sort or card game and other game of any sort. Correct. Now because of this insertion, this is a new one, right? 23. Because of this, the idea was to cover online games. But gambling or betting of any form using this dialogue in finance at 23 they may say it will come under 194b they may say but earlier it was just what winnings from any lottery or crossword puzzle that's it and etc etc will be similar to lottery or crossword puzzle which is term generous but because of this dialogue gambling or betting of any form any form then it may come there this is from this finance act 23 onwards it will be open or it will open up to cases various cases so this will be not for he would have paid tax at the end it will be not for not paying tax it will be for interest portion you should have paid uh, in march in april you are paying next march so interest not or rather uh, in july july you are paying advance tax so three months interest portion in 234 uh, c uh, section interest there it will open up for what do you say uh, assessments for sure we don't know this actually insertion of gambling or betting from any form this entire line was inserted as per the memorandum in 2023 which we read for what online games so indirectly they have added even for camel race etc also but if you see there is a specific section 194 bb for horse race why isn't horse race covered here then think about it that's also gambling of any sort no this was inserted now that's what i'm saying the intention of inserting this was only to cover online games but anyway it will open up to cases conservatively better to pay and close it but the thing is here i will i will uh, sue the kambla owners kambla organizers for not doing it they will have to pay uh, they will be ssc's in default and all that that's the problem i will not be in a problem i will anyway pay and for me, the difference will be the interest rate will for that two months. That's all. But for them, there will be SSEs in default. This will definitely go to various cases. These are all new, new things. Very, very fresh. Right. <clears throat>